Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, other night I was sitting back watching the Don't Sleep show. It's a new show on BET. You know, it's a pretty good show. You know, they finally putting something on that network that has some type of substance because for the last couple of years, it's just been a lot of bullshit and buffoonery on BET. But um, they had little JoJo's mother on there, and you know. They was talking about the whole murder case and everything that was going on. I believe the the host of that show is T.J. Holmes. If, if you know if I'm right or wrong, y'all let me know. But um, he asked her, he asked little JoJo's mother, "Who do you think is responsible for your son's death?" And she said, "Chief Keep." But when she said it, she had a smirk on her face. And I, I'm looking at the TV. I'm like, "Damn, why is this chick laughing?" About her son being killed. Whether Chief Keef had something to do with it or not. Why are you laughing? But that's not even the, 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 the kick of the story. The host asked her. Do you think you could have done something to prevent this? Do you think you could have you know, been more involved in your son's life? And she said well. You know, I can't be around him all the time. You know, when he goes out, you know, he's on his own. I, I'm I'm a single parent and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm like, wait a minute, bitch. And you know, I don't mean <laughs> I don't mean to come out and call her a bitch, but I mean that's that's the way she was acting. I mean, how can you not take responsibility for your kid? This is the reason why this Joker probably was out here cutting up, you know, talking about shooting people and robbing, probably a whole bunch of shit he never done in his life because you were not in his life. You know, I grew up in, in, in a single parent household. My mother raised me and she was in my life. You know, I knew that, okay, you know, if, if, if I go to school and I do some dumb shit at school, when I get home, I'm going to get my ass whooped. Or, you know, I'm, I'm going to get something taken away from my, my mother was deeply in my life because she knew the type of obstacles and, and, and the type of adversity I'm going to face as a black man in this country. So for this woman to sit up here and say, oh, well, I can't be around him all the time. You know, it wasn't my fault. You know, uh, uh, basically just de-announcing her responsibility for being in this child's life. And, you know, this happens all the time. You know, you got parents out here that they let the TV, they let the radio and everything else raise their kids. And it's not just always single parent households. You have two parent houses where the parents just don't give a damn. You know, they just buy the kids Jordans and, you know, give them the little new Xbox or PS3 game and tell them to shut the hell up and just let them, you know, do that. To occupy, to take the uh, responsibility that they supposed to have of raising their kids. And there's a lot of parents out here like this. And it's like when when you are not in your child's life and you don't put any type of um, words or wisdom into your child, some integrity, teach them right for wrong, don't get mad, don't cry out on the news when your child ends up dead in the street or your child joins a gang or they, or they get locked up. Well, you know, you are a direct responsibility for that child being in that situation. Now, Lou Jojo was a minor. And, you know, they had his, uh, his, his uh, I believe his brother was older. Yeah, I think that was his older brother on there. He, he was on there, too. And, you know, the host was asking him some questions. And he actually had more sense than the mother. You know, he was talking about how, you know, he wants to live positive and he wants to start you know, uh, basically being a role model because he knows that people are looking up to him. And and, and whether, you know, it's, it's his little sister or his little brother, he wants to be a role model to them and he wants to lead, you know, his life in a positive way. And, you know, I respect the young brother for that because he had a lot more sense and a lot more logic than his mother did. His mother got on there, started laughing. I mean, I, I would have thought I was watching Living Color or something. And, you know, it's just, it's crazy out here, but that's basically all I wanted to say, you know. I'm going to leave the uh, link in the description box if y'all want to check out the actual interview. But, you know, the more of this video is that, you know, don't don't sit up here and say, why is my kid doing this, or why is my kid acting this way, or why, is, why did my child end up dead or locked up when you know you're a direct responsibility for that. 
you have the right to. You can't you can't control your kids all the time because it's going to come a time in their life where they're going to have to step out into the real world. You just going to have to trust and believe that you taught them right for wrong and they're going to have enough common sense and enough integrity to do the right thing. But while that child is a minor, while that child is still under your household, you have the power to lead them in the right direction, make sure they stay out of certain bullshit. And if you have the type of attitude where you feel like, oh, well, you know, I'm not responsible or I can't do this or I can't do that just because you're a single parent or you live in, in, in the hood or whatever, that's bullshit. But that's all I got to say. Y'all comment and subscribe and do all that good stuff. But, you know, parents out here, y'all y'all got to wake up. You know, if you're not in a mental state to, to raise children and Teach them something. Don't have any goddamn kids. Use protection. Get on birth control. Shit. If you can, don't even have sex. Because a lot of y'all that do not need to be parents. But that's all I got to say. I'm out.